Hey everyone, it's Chris again, uh, doing a bit of a uh, review type of sort of video this time. Um, this is on a 1911 gas blow back pistol that I recently acquired uh, just a couple of days ago. Um, it's built by a guy called Mike at Elite Shooting Centre.co.uk. I'll put the uh, web address down in the comments there. Um, if you want more of a bit, uh, bit more of a written sort of detailed review, um, I've done that and it's on Arnie's Airsoft at the moment in the uh, in the review section there. Again, I'll uh, stick a link in the comments. Um, reason I bought this, uh, I've already got uh, this. Point, I've already got three actually um, 1911s made by TM, uh, and this is based on the TM MEU, but it's had a uh, full metal kit fitted to it and um, made by Hurricane. Mike over at ESC did all the work for me. Um, basically, I felt that since I've already got three standard plastic 911s, um, that's me uh, covered, as it were, in terms of uh, guns that are practical to skirmish with. And I thought, well, you know, a metal gun obviously isn't as practical to skirmish. Uh, you get a lot, a lot lower gas capacity and stuff, but it is fun. Um, and uh, like I said, since I've already got that lot covered, I thought I'd go with something a bit different, just to use in the sort of the warmer, the summer months, um, maybe to complement some of the gas blowback rifles, uh, really have that more sort of realistic feel to the collection. Um, as I say before, uh, weapon itself is based off the MEU um, variant of the 1911, that's what's used as the base gun, uh, and the the kit that's added to it, again, I say, it's made by Hurricane. It's called the uh, Kimber Covert 2. As you see, you've got Kimber written on the slide. Uh, custom Covert 2 trays on there. Um, all aluminium, um, that slide and frame that is. Tan frame, black slide. Uh, the recoil spring in there is upgraded, so you get quite a powerful, quite a um, meaty feel to it. When you let the slide go between the weight of the slide itself and the uh, upgraded spring. Um, other parts that have changed, uh, parts of the Hurricane kit itself, uh, aluminium match grade trigger, so three hold tights in black. The slide lock is made out of steel, which is quite handy because it's got a pretty chunky slide going back and forward. Um, the magazine catch there, nice uh, serrated grips on it. Again, that's made of steel, nice and durable. Uh, other components that include the kit, Novak style night sights, glow in the dark, pretty handy to have. Uh, the spring is part of the kit uh, and there's a few other sort of small bits and pieces. The, um, the kit includes this little bolt here that turns um, the thumb safety. This, um, this lever is part of the ambi safety that comes on the stock MEU um, but this small part here replaces the right side lever so you've still got it single sided as an, on a 1911A1 this, the plain version um, but rather than the old style actual lever you've got a new style which actually works quite well as a thumb rest. Uh, overall um, other parts that were added to it um, by ESC I've got uh, Mike to install a black steel outer barrel made by Garda. Um, this, the kit as stock comes with a silver one. Um, I didn't want any bling bling sort of shiny parts on that. Um, I just preferred the look with just black. Um, so I went for that. Just put in a, I'm not sure you'll be able to see it there, but just to be out in the, the inner barrel even, which is black, um, because it's a, a Raven 6.01 type bore made by PDI. The hop-up bucking, and you'll not be able to see it, but it's purple because it's the nine-ball bucking, um, which I've read a uh, lot of reviews on. It's going to work good. I've not tested this at a skirmish as yet, um, but I will be um, probably running it with some 0.25s green gas, obviously, to best to adjust the hop-up and um, see what kind of range we can get out of it, accuracy-wise at distances um, with tight ball. Uh, what else do we get in here? Ah, yeah. The um, see the magwell here that probably a few of you noticed. It's a flared magwell. Really helps when it comes to uh, inserting your mags. It makes it a fair bit easier. Less chance of missing the magwell. Um, that's made by TM. The main spring housing and the magwell are all uh, taken from the TM Strike Warrior, which is their newest release, 1911. 
Um, that was a, again an extra part that I specifically asked Mike to fit and he's fitted it very nicely, it's a very good fit. Parts as myself are the Colt rubber grips, these are real steel Colt, um, they're quite cheap though, they're only about, they're certainly less than 20 quid. Um, rubber, good material for a gas weapon because it doesn't cool down uh, certainly as much as if you had metal grips on there. The stock um, 1911s always come with big lead weights inside the grips. Um, which are not good for your gas efficiency and considering how heavy the metal slide on this thing is already you really don't want to be making your gas efficiency any worse and um, fitment wise as you can see it's all smooth Mike has done an excellent job on this um, as you will see if you read the uh, written review that I've done very very happy with his work uh, the only slight problems I've had are that it, the slide Sometimes it's probably not going to do it now. Sometimes it will jam if you rack it with the weapon pointed down, but you're always going to be loading, be reloading with the weapon about here or up here anyway, so that's not going to be a problem. Um, it's really surprising the number of things you talk about in such a small weapon. Um, the paintwork on the guard barrel, the, the outer barrel, isn't terribly durable, um, which is a shame because. It is quite a nice barrel other than that. You see there's a bit of silver showing through already, but to be honest, I've, I've been doing this all day for a couple of days now since I took this out of the box. Um, Price-wise, this should have run about a bit over 450, 460 quid, given all the uh, internal upgrades, the magwell, the kit itself, the base gun, etc, etc. Um, but during the fitment process, unfortunately, Mike had a bit of a slip, I don't know if you'll be able to see because it really is tiny, but there's a tiny little nick in the slide there. And for doing that, he emailed me and he said, uh, sorry Chris, you know, I'm afraid while I was putting it together, I had a bit of a slip, put that in it, I'm quite embarrassed, but um, I'll give you a reduction in the price and I'm thinking, I'm going to take 20 quid off. 80 pounds, 80 quid for that. It's pretty much just the paint, it's mental. It's, suffice to say, I said, yes, yes, please, yes, I'll take that. Um, so yeah, end price to me, about 300, well, precisely, um, 383 pounds, uh, which for a gun that the, the metal kit itself will cost you over 200, the base gun is over 150, the barrel, the inner barrel's 30, or the bucking, I'm not even sure, the hot bucking, 10, 20, something like that, the magwells are over 30 quid, I don't think you, you can even buy these separately, I don't know how he even gets them. Um, the guard of barrel, he, I would have had to buy that separately if I'd have done this myself. They're probably about 50 quid, steal out a barrel like that. Um, 383 for that, which is probably worth over 500, I'd imagine. Certainly if you tried to do that yourself, and he put it together for me. This just turned up in a box. Um, uh, came with the MEU mag, obviously. Also uh, with um, some instructions, a basic care guide that was written up by ESC. Um, sort of GBB maintenance and maintenance on the mag, um, which is quite useful. Overall service, I first emailed ESC on the Tuesday. He started building it on the Wednesday after I told him what exactly I wanted him to build. He'd finished on Thursday and put it on the post. Friday, it turned up and I had it. And that's to totally, absolutely strip all the parts out of the inside of here, down to component bits. Put it all inside this kit. He's done filing, milling, all inside the slide to really make it work nice and smoothly. And it's just a really phenomenal service. I can't really can't recommend enough. If you're after a TM pistol of any kind, whether just basic stock or absolutely custom to the hills and back, then uh, hit up ESC. And obviously, the polite thing to do, of course, fire a few rounds. So let's do that.
very, very fun. So yeah, Elite Shooting Center, TM Pistols, check them out guys, see you next time.